Hey, Hickox45 here. Gonna do a nine millimeter video with the old Glock 26. Been a while since I pulled out the Glock 26 for a video. In fact, I think it was Super Bowl Sunday in January or February, whenever the Super Bowl was. So this is going to be the Glock 26 Chapter 2 video. Not a lot of talking, you'll love that, but quite a bit of shooting, right? Got lots of ammo. And I did want to point out that since I uh, did that last video, I took a gander at that. You know, I was still wrapping an old skateboard tape around my my, my uh, grip. But, you know, since then, I, I do have the talon grips. I don't uh, point that out very often. Got my hand over them. So I thought I'd give uh, talon grips a little plug there. They deserve it. They do a great job. Like I said, I don't get any money from uh, talon grips, but I love the feel of those, uh, those grips. They really give you a nice purchase on the gun. But anyway, uh, stock, Glock. 26, same one I used in the uh, first video, and uh, it's an older Glock 26. It is totally stock, doesn't even have night sights on it, uh, stock springs, everything but the grips. All right, it's got a live magazine in it. Okay, let's put it back in, and let's go to town. Now, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to shoot a lot. I've got lots of magazines loaded. Let's put this in the holster. Uh, I've got six on my belt. I have uh, six more here on the table. I'm going to stuff in my pockets, whatever's left here before I move around a little bit. As I've mentioned before, I tend to use Glock uh, 19 magazines as my backup for the, the 26. Uh, easier to grab hold of and you know reload, so I, I like those. I do not use them as someone uh, seemed to think at one point. Uh, to give me more stability. I cannot stand extensions on my magazine. I think you all know that by now if you've seen any of my videos. So when I shoot a Glock 26 or any gun Glock with a longer magazine, my goal is to not really contact the lower part of that magazine. Uh, so, so that magazine, it's irrelevant whether it's sticking out that much or it's a Glock 17 mag down to here or a longer one. So I'm, uh, I'm working to not touch that magazine when I shoot. I'm definitely not using it to uh, get a better grip. All right, so let's go hot and uh, sling some lead. Now, as I was about to say, I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up a little bit on this one. I'm just gonna I may even move around a little bit and go down a little closer and shoot. And I don't know, I'm not sure. Just gonna relax and enjoy my Glock 26. I'm gonna shoot a lot of bullets. You know, they're expensive, so I'm just gonna kind of do what I like to do and whatever comes to mind. I like that bowling pin target. I'm going to pop him a couple more times. It's fun to shoot things close occasionally. You can't do that with steel. <laughs> he really dances. I just noticed most of these... Uh, Magazines are not locking my slide back, so I think I've got a maybe a minor issue with my gun. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot If we need to replace a part, we'll do it later. Let's go out the long range a couple of shots. Oh Maybe the gong out there at 80. See if I can hit that rascal
Nice, nice. Let me pop a couple of animals off if I can. See if old Mr. Billy Goat wants to fall. Huh. Two with one shot, not bad. Let's go down to the next row. <laughs> Let's just keep rolling them. That is fun. Again, one of the things I like to point out and uh, hopefully demonstrate is that uh, these little babies are accurate at long range. Uh, sometimes I think I ought to be carrying this gun. I don't know that I shoot any of these little Glocks any better than this one. Uh, one of the things you notice I'm doing here, of course we're kind of informal in our little videos. Like uh, The Talon grips are wonderful. I usually add a little strip of uh, skateboard tape right there on the very base anyway. I kind of got used to that from my own uh, jobs I would do. I would tailor it to, to what I like. So it's kind of nice having the, the wraparound talon grip where I don't have to do anything if I don't want to, but I do cut a little piece usually put right there. So it's kind of nice because uh, I used to have to cut so many strips and meticulously you know, put them where I wanted. But uh, this little thing amazes me how accurate it is. Okay, let's see. I've got uh, four or five more mags. So let's just uh, let's go down and range a little bit and play. Well, I think I'm out of magazines. Oh, no, I'm not. You know, one of the nice things about these guns is they might seem small and they don't have a lot of capacity. Well, you saw that uh, you can use Glock 19 or Glock 17 mags in it without any trouble. And if you happen to live in a neighborhood that Al Qaeda has targeted, you might want one of these. Voila, 33 rounds. Well, let's try it, see if it works. <laughs> How's that for a rig? So. 
These little babies are so versatile. Uh, they're so much fun. Glock 26, what can you say? Uh, shoots at all ranges, just like it did on uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Hasn't changed a bit. I, I don't get it out often enough. Uh, this, ought to be, uh, this ought to be my primary gun, I think. It just is so easy to shoot. Well, I say shoot well at long range. Now, I'm not picking off flies across there. Uh, some of you guys probably could take your, your custom 1911 or any gun you have maybe and actually you know, pick off a, a really small target across there uh, pretty well. I just like to shoot fast and shoot uh, reasonably sized targets as you can see, but they are at uh, 50, 60, 70, and 80 yards. And uh, three inch, uh, what, three and a quarter inch barrel, whatever that barrel is, it just never ceases to amaze me. Fine little piece of hardware. Glock 26, if uh, you think you've got to have a bigger one, Glock 19, Glock 17, no problem with that. But uh, this baby will uh, do what you need for it to do. Just practice with it a little bit. I think you'll be surprised. You guys that have one, you know what I'm talking about, right? So I guess I'll leave you now. I've thrown enough lead, and I've had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. Life is good.